I'm striving to get rich. That's why I almost went two years without buying shoes and fits. Things change now. My mom hearing me wear my music and she look a little prouder. Yo, what's up, world? APW Sports signing in, and today dropped some big news, big breaking news for our Chicago Bears. As the Bears, as the Bears are going to release Taylor Gabriel and Prince of Mukamura, the moves save the Bears $13.5 million in cap space. I'm going to touch on why I think these moves are necessary. I called it out in my episode 2 of Chicago Bears Weekly. I think those moves were going to be inevitable. Because Taylor Gabriel, as he does have the speed, he does have the ability to take the top off the defense, yes. It's just number one, that cap hit that he was going to obtain was not going to be worth it because he's been dealing with the big concussion most of the year. He's been in and out of the lineup with nagging injuries. And his play has kind of slipped a little bit throughout this tenure with the Chicago Bears. He's a good receiver. He is good in the slot. But I think the Bears have the replacements in guys like Riley Ridley. They can use Cordero Patterson more in the offense. Javon Wims is another guy that they can use more in the offense. So it was a big lock jam at the wide receiver spot anyway. And then you add the elevation of Anthony Middle last season. Somebody was bound to lose a spot. Allen Robinson, was obviously, he's 100% safe. So he wasn't going anywhere. The lock jam at the wide receiver position, somebody was going to have to lose a spot. And I think Taylor Gabriel was obviously that guy that was going to unfortunately they draw the loss and with the move today it doesn't shock me at all that they made the move it's a little bit earlier but I think this gives them more planning to get the guys that they have at the receiver position in rhythm and if they see anything else that can necessarily get the bargain a little bit cheaper at the wide right receiver position to improve other areas they were going to do that. So the release of Taylor Gabriel was even, was something that was going to be inevitable. Now the release of Prince of Mukamura, I called that and I seen that coming too. Because he's losing a step. He's never been that speedy corner. He's been more of the physical, strong guy. But he's really started to lose his legs in my eyes. He has been burnt a lot with speedy receivers throughout the course of the 2019 year. He was burnt a lot. And his play wasn't going to be necessarily paid with the contract that he had. The contract that he had, he wasn't living up to it. Now, if he had a solid season, it would have been different. But he was also dealing with a lot of injuries last year. Then you throw that on top of inconsistent play. And the Bears already had a needed corner. He was going to be the guy to go. He wasn't that great last year. I'm not going to sit here and say I hate him, Mukamura. It was just time for change in that defense, especially when they were bringing a lot of pressure to kind of get the pressure fast because the back end of the secondary, mainly Prince of Mukamura, wasn't holding very well in coverage. So that was a move that I seen coming. I, I think it was necessary for that move to happen as well. Prince Mukamura is a solid player, but for this system to work the way Chuck Pagano runs it, he needs more of a shutdown corner. There's not a lot of shutdown corners in the NFL today, but Prince Mukamura was just not a good fit within the scheme of Chuck Pagano. It was a move that I honestly called for because it's time for change at the cornerback position. We kind of need to go younger at the corner position a guy that can keep up with these speedy receivers of the NFL today. So basically at the end of the day, those two moves were basically inevitable. They were going to happen. Prince of Mukamura and Taylor Gabriel are no longer Chicago Bears. I wish them best because obviously they are good football players. They still are good football players, but the Bears felt the need and I felt the need for them to go in a different direction and kind of change things up a little bit. And that also frees up some money 
so the Bears can improve in the other areas of the defense. Maybe the interior defensive line. Definitely the offensive line needs to be improved. And you can improve in areas. Maybe if HaHa ha Clinton Dix doesn't come back, you can take some of that money and improve the strong safety area. So it was more like the end of the day. These are two necessary moves for the Bears to kind of tweak and change the roster going forward. Now, I'm shocked they did this at this point in time, but it just gives them more time to really address the needs that they need to address this offseason. So, Taylor Gabriel and Prince Mukumura are released and are no longer Chicago Bears. That's all I've got for you guys. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel as it helps the channel to grow. And also be sure to follow me on social media, Twitter and Instagram. Both handles are APW Sports and both will be linked in the description below. You guys have a great and excellent day. And I have episode three cooking up for you guys. It's going to be a special topic that has to deal with the NFL offseason for the Chicago Bears. I will see you guys on Sunday. Peace out. I want to say thank you to my mom and my daddy for making love the night that you had me. I want to thank my friends, my sister and my brother.